what we consider our stuff to be is second generation e-fuels. And the first generation has been around for about 100 years. And that is like Fisher Trope, or later in the 1970s, you had methanol to gasoline. Basically, these are high pressure, high temperature ways of making fuel. So, I mean, even in the 1930s, you could take coal, you could gasify it into sink gas, you could turn that into, into gasoline or diesel. And But it's really it's really expensive to do it that way. It's, it's about 1,000 de uh, degrees Celsius, you know, and about 100 times atmospheric pressure. And so those things are always going to give you like $10 per gallon or more, no matter what scale they're at. They're never going to be good enough. But what we're doing is second generation. It's based on electrochemistry. And electrochemistry can be done at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. And so I literally build these things out of Home Depot parts. I go and buy PVC valves and stuff like that. They're really cheap, 50 cents for, for like a T valve or something. And, and so the way we do it is we capture CO2 from the air into water. And it wants to do that because CO2 is an acid gas. Uh, so if it encounters water, if you have like a glass of water on the table, the CO2 will go into it and form uh, car bicarbonate. Carbonate water, we make it a fizzy, essentially, or salty. 